That's right. So, uh, you have, no, that's fine. So you have two ventricles, okay? Uh, a left ventricle and a right ventricle. And uh, like I said in the, in the lecture, blood from the right ventricle is just gonna be pumped to your, uh, to your lungs. So it doesn't have to go a big distance. But the left ventricle is gonna be pumping blood into your aorta, and from your aorta, it has to go to the various parts of your body. Right? Mm -hmm. So obviously this side requires a lot more force. So which is why you'll see the so wall. The left is, no, the, the, the left, left is bigger. Yeah, yeah, the wall is thicker. Okay. So if you can compare it. And the chamber itself is also bigger? Is that typical or about the same? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't you know, don't, say don't it's always. It yeah, don't okay. base it on that. Just go with the thicker wall. This, yeah, thicker wall. Okay. So, so now you know. Now you're oriented correctly. So now you know that this chamber over here is your left ventricle. And this chamber over here is your right ventricle. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, this would be your interventricular septum. Okay. Okay. Please don't say myocardium in the exam. Uh, if they ask you what, uh, what structure is this, you would say interventricular septum. If they ask you what uh, layer of the heart uh, okay. muscle it is, you would say myocardium. Okay. Okay. So always pay attention to the question. Don't just shoot out the first thing that comes to your mind. Read it. Read it and then answer. Okay. So interventricular septum, uh, left ventricle, the right ventricle. Now the chordae tendine, clearly visible over here, you can see the cords. Okay, so those are your chordae tendine. At the base of your chordae tendine, you have, you can see like clearly over here, you have papillary muscle. Can you see that? Papillary muscle. Okay, the papillary muscle. Yeah, so you can see the chordae tendine are connecting to? to the papillary muscle. Okay. Okay, again over here, so this would be the papillary muscle. That's okay. big. Yeah, so chordae tendine attaching to the papillary muscle, and then the ridges that you see inside, those would be your trabeculae cani. Oh, okay. Okay? Oh my god. <laughs> trabeculae <laughs> cani. Over there. You get to see it? <laughs> okay. Trabeculae cani. So, now we've got the ventricles, the chordae tendine, papillary muscle, and the trabeculae cani. So these are the, are the valves structure right here. Okay, it's open. This is the valve over here. Okay. So since this is the left hand side, what valve would this be? Bicuspid. Right. Bicuspid or mic uh, mitral. And since this is the right hand side, it would be the tricuspid. Okay. So this when my this region over here? Is that the aorta? Yeah, no, atria. atria. Okay, so this is the chamber, that's the atria. And can you see the ridges over here? When I'm running my thumb along? Yes. Okay, those are your pectinate muscles. Okay. Um, right, now to identify the pulmonary trunk and the aorta. So you know that this is the left ventricle. Okay, so follow that vessel. See where it's coming out. See what's coming out. See the vessel that it's coming out of? So that's the aorta? That's the aorta. Okay. And this vessel over here is the pulmonary trunk. Okay. And if you look at it, one second. It's a delicate. Basically, it opens into the right metric. I can't get this stick out right now, but note that it does. So the vessel in the front is the pulmonary trunk, and the vessel on the back over here is your aorta. So when you look at the heart, the heart is closed like that. The vessel that you see on top in the front is your pulmonary trunk. It's going to go to your lungs, kind of deoxygenated blood, and this one is the aorta. It's kind of oxygenated blood. <coughs> Okay. And so those are both leaving the ventricles. Yeah, that's right. Uh, right, so now blood leaves the heart and goes to the lungs to, to get oxygenated. 
via the pulmonary, uh, uh, it leaves the heart via the pulmonary artery. Okay. okay. So the only one with deoxygenated blood. Right. That's the only so thing I can remember. just uh, remember that when a vessel is leaving the heart, it's, a, it's called an artery. Um, and generally, when it's coming back to the heart, it's called a vein. Okay. Don't always go by the arteries carry oxygenated and arteries are red and veins carry deoxygenated blood and veins are blue. So you know the pulmonary artery is leaving the heart, going to the lungs, but it's carrying deoxygenated blood. The pulmonary veins are coming from the lungs, coming back to the heart, but they're carrying oxygenated blood. Okay? Yep. Uh, right, moving on. Now, uh, when you're looking at the heart, uh, so this is going to be the anterior portion of the heart, okay, and this is going to be the posterior portion of the heart. So if you look at it closely, they're clearly very different. Okay? So this thing at the back over here, you can have your coronary sinus running at the back over there, and in the front, you can see this vessel. What vessel do you think that would be? Marginal. Oh yeah, so this is your anterior interventricular artery. Okay. That means you know roughly <laughs> yeah, the left ventricle is going to be inside over there, right ventricle is going to be over there. A little over the back. And you don't really have to identify any of the vessels on, on, on the on the cow heart uh, apart from the pulmonary trunk and the aorta. Okay? So, uh, questions? None? Can you see where the Superior and in, inferior vena cava uh, enters this one. Can you see yeah. that? Yeah. Well, just curious. Would they ask that on the cow heart? No, they they wouldn't ask it on the cow heart, but. Right, this thing I can in the distinguish back. them here a bit. Yeah, it's not really easy to distinguish it, but this one is going to be uh, uh, superior, superior and the inferior. I can show you all on the other okay. models. I mean, it's generally like at the bottom. Sort of. I mean, when I say the bottom, I mean lower down. Okay. Uh, so yeah, as far as vessels go, just you know the pulmonary trunk and the aorta. Are there gonna be a lot of questions on the cow heart, or does it just like vary from like models? It varies. Okay. It varies. Okay. So like I said, just familiarize yourselves. Okay. So today, uh, if you go home and you check the ID sheet, it should it should be on you alone. Uh, I pretty much 